All right, the main event is starting in three minutes. $300 main event, the biggest buy-in I've ever played in my life. Oh, and there it is. All right, let's put this on the main screen somewhere. Let's get rid of the fucking storm. All right, purple in advance for when I make the final table. Just saves me time, so I don't have to actually change it. And that logic actually doesn't make sense because it's a two-day tournament. So if I make the final table, it will be tomorrow after I've already closed and reopened the client. Blah, 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 blah. Flop me a set right now. Bam. Fuck. What's a good size? Oh, not that, not that. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna bet big here. We bricked the river, I mean the turn. I don't imagine in, these guys are fucking around with Queen 10 too often. So we're gonna pot it. Three by shoving on Vincent for 20. Wow, we got called here. I'm just going to shove. Wait, hold on. Vincent called, and he's dead up to a 10. Nice. We're all in here in the main event. We're also all in here. We flopped top two pair. Oh my god, I have so much going on. Okay, well, he's not soul rolling me, so uh, I'm winning this hand. Hold. Yes. And we've been called here by A3. Let's fucking go. Big double already in the $300 biggest buy in my life. We got a bounty here and a major stack. Um, man, there's so much happening. I have aces in the main too? Come on. Holy shit. I don't even need to balance my opening size when everyone's like 500 big lines deep. Sorry, I'm 500 big lines deep. Everyone else is 250. Um, but yeah, people were just like 4x opening. Like, Hoping somebody has a king, betting big. I rip for the nuts here. Can I overbet this? All right, if it's king jack, it's king jack. I'll overbet again. It folds. Okay. Okay, off to a hell of a start here. Chip leading, actually. I'll take a free one. And it's a six of clubs. Alright, so I have a flush and an open end and straight flush draw. Do I just raise now and just charge the ace of clubs? I actually don't know. I think so. Okay, wait, hold on. I have hands everywhere. What the fuck? Okay, I'm all in here. Raise off 30 and a call off 12. I'm also all in here. 3x under the gun. I have 35 bigs. Um, we got called by Moji. Just gonna value bet. Okay, I take it down to the queens. The sixes, I wouldn't mind taking this bounty. Let's just value bet here versus Moji. And we are going for the bounty. Hold. No, oh, six. Fuck. Uh, oh my god, that's so sick. I think I have to fold. Um, my, sorry, I'll get to this chat in a second. We're gonna call once.
That's really good for his range and not so good for mine. So I'm just going to check call this one. Nice. Because um, I still lose to like ace-queen. I assume he just had king-jack or something. He did have exactly king-jack. I guess I'm... I guess I have the best hand a lot of the time here. Uh, he opened, I called, he f defended small blind. Wow. That's a really good river. Uh, losing the kings. Uh, obviously, eights, uh, aces and nines are plausible, but um, very unlikely. Yeah, I think I can raise and call it. I lose ace-king as well, which... If you manage to check back ace-king, congrats. But I do think I can get called by a bunch of ace-queen, ace-jack type hands. Maybe even king-jack, king-queen, king-ten. Might find a call. I doubt it, but... Maybe folds. Okay. A little c-bet. Small c-bet versus button. It's a pretty good turn. Maybe I check, check, and then over bet river. Imagine. Nice. I don't think I was going to fold that river unless he made some insane over bet. Uh, ace five. Yeah, makes sense. I'm not see bending because I'm a fucking bitch. Okay, well that's really good. Please, somebody have a jack. You know what? I want to bet a size to jet jack will raise. Any main event? That's a really bad turn. Not what I had in mind. Maybe I should just be aggressive and send it, because how likely is it one of them has a 9 or a 10? I doubt it. I'm going to call it just to Bluff River. Um, I don't think he's a 9 or a 10. I want to bet a size where I could bet that size was either a 10 or a 9, so I don't polarize myself. So, Oh, bigger percentage of my uh, range's value than if I polarize myself to only a 10 or only a 9. Nice speed to check it out. Pretty fucking big sea bed, Jesus Christ. And now we just lose to everything. Bluffs and value. How many monitors do I have? Two. Um, so I have six tables on the one monitor. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Took it down with the aces, by the way. On the other monitor, I have like I have four tables. Uh, which ones? One, two, three, four. And then like on this monitor that has the four tables, on the very, very left, I have like the I have OBS and YouTube chat. And I can't even see OBS right now. But usually I don't have ten tables. But when I do have ten tables, I don't have space to see OBS, so I can only see the YouTube chat. Ah, uh, the flips are hard. I'm getting raised here. I just want to get it in. There's a lot of draws, a lot of 7x, um, a lot of hearts. You know, hands like 6-7, I'll, I'll just happily get it in against now. I think when I do this, he knows I have an overbear, and he's just doing some math to figure out if he has the equity. Or he's still rolling me with the top set. 10! Cool. Out of position, you're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Wait, actually, I have a tenth table coming up in half an hour. I have a hundred dollar satellite into the Irish Open.
Two calls. I'm just going to give up turn if I don't pick up anybody. <coughs> hmm. Open for folds, not happening. You see like a four hearts? Wow. Guess they're not. It's good, River. I mean, I think I was winning anyways, but uh, just snap called by what, Jacks? Tens? Five, so that makes sense why he didn't put the turn. We're going to three bet Mr. Drumfield here. And a snap call. An ace high board, but it's a paired board. A little scary. Nice. Why am I getting three bet here? All right. See, what's this three bet? Zero percent over fifteen hands. This is first time three betting. I mean, I don't think it's big enough for me to fold ace jack. Hmm, I don't like this too much. Okay, well now I have a not plus draw. So I should call again because my jack is probably still good unless he has kings. I do lose to ace king now, which kind of sucks. Or maybe if he bets small, I just rip with my ace of hearts. Okay, well. Now we just do this, and I'm trying to get called by like queens or tens. Queens or tens with a heart, I guess. Queens, tens without a heart is not not really probably going to call, but I think this is a reasonable size. I mean, obviously, queen of hearts is going to have a very hard time folding, but even ace king with no heart. But well, obviously, the ace of hearts is gone, the king of hearts is gone. Even ace king uh, might pay this sometimes. Alright, he folds. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Wow, we got paid by what? A deuce, really? Or he had what, fours, fives? Sixes, yeah. Okay, we turn a queen after he raises under the gun. I defend the big line and we check through flop. Gonna call one fifth of pot for sure. Gonna check and really hope um, for a check back, but I might pay him here. Uh, I just lose to ace queen. What's up, Brock83995? How's the main going? This is the main right here. I have two starting stacks, and I'm about to give Mr. Ruth a little juicy uh, 6k. Just kidding. What if he isolates 80 bigs? Okay, we don't have to worry. Remember when I won flips, like last year, 2023? That wasn't even a fucking flip, that's dumb, being generous. Definitely have a strong enough hand to defend here. Gonna check back. 
Not a heart? Come on. Ten. I could be good here. I will check. I mean, I think when he checks, he has showdown value. He's probably a 7 6 or something, but. Wow, he doesn't want to bluff that on the turn? Um. Gonna see that. Nice, we get through the scary guy. We don't get through that guy. I think we'll go again. Call turn Steve at 100%. That's not great, but. He does fold to this one. Let's go. Um, okay, for sure not folding to one street with ace 10. It's brick. Okay, busted here. Is this another spot where I can do this? He could have King Jack though. No, I think I need to be a little bit more picky with my spots. No, sir. Wow. I mean, we're running it if he check shoves. I'm just going to shove because this is what I do with over pairs. I imagine he does have a ton of bet folds. And of course, we have the straight shot with equity plus the over pair. But it, I think it's it looks pretty. Oh shit! Whoa! Yes, double up in the three hundred dollar. What the fuck? He decides to lead that flop. Wow. Fucking hell. Gonna open the button here with the ace four suited. Maybe I four bet this one. No, he has a three bet of three percent. Fuck. Mmm, -hmm -hmm. the four bet bluff gets through. Get the fuck out of here, Long Sheila. Get the fuck out. Now we just get a fucking three bet again. Uh, pretty sure in theory this is a fold, but I'm feeling juicy, spicy. Pretty good flop. We're going to protect my hand. Get some folds from ace tens and stuff. Let's not inflate the pot, but let's call river. Hold on, I might have to have a think about it. Okay, nice, nice, that's nice. I think I just beat a deuce here. Nice. And I'm worried about the nuts. Out of position, we'll make it a little larger, a little three and a half or so. Maybe I should go even bigger. Hmm. This could be a trap, but uh, I don't know. Does Sheila have it in them to trap? Oh my god. Big pot coming up. 
I mean, there's no tough decisions, right? We all know what I'm going to do, what I have to do, what's correct to do. So I'm just going to do it. Yes, holy fuck. Had to put two spades on the flop, huh? My heart, I can feel my heart right now. Do it. Do it, I'm ready. Okay. Ah, but ace line is so high up. Okay, I don't have to think about it. Again, one big blind. And if he shows, we run it with the overcard and then a flush draw, but we'll take it. Wow. Wow. I'm not folding. <laughs> that was the fastest all in I've ever fucking seen, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, that's a bad turn. Fuck, man, I feel like I have to call now. Okay, for that price, yeah. Wow, kings, huh? Oh, shit. He's limping 37% of hands. I don't think this hits him very much. Obviously, he's going to have hands like Jack Nine and stuff. If, if he's, you know, thirty percent, the thirty-seven percent range does include that. Um, wow, I kind of want to shove now. I would shove kings and aces, and of course we have equity to fall back on. Oh boy. Well, that's that.